Hello, welcome, welcome back. This is Wensi from Wensi's Toys Channel, and in this video, I will be reviewing the Lego set 80048 The Mighty Azure Lion from the Lego Monkey Kids series from 2023. So let's get right to it. Oh, and before I forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing as a lot of my viewers have not yet subscribed to my channel and it would help me a lot in bringing you more content like this in the future. Thank you very much! Okay, so let's take a look at the minifigures. So first, let's take the look at the villain minifigures of this set 80048, the Mighty Azure Lion. So like all other Monkey Kid sets for season 4 this year, there is a Ink Demon. So the Ink Demon again has this nice intricate torso print fortunately just plain black legs intricate face print and matching intricate back print so not much it's all black it's all ink so this is just some of the armoring but if you if you've watched the episodes of season four you'll notice that there's really no body print actually they have their ink demon spirit so they don't really need armoring so yeah so next is the azure lion himself so this is the only the second time that we see the azure lion and of course he's gonna appear in his own set right it's called the mighty azure lion so again he was he was last seen in the first wave of this year 2023 in the Ultra Max set and there is a reason why I'll get to it when we go to the main build so again very nice very detailed printing for the torso and I like that he has black and blue arms different styles and then very intricate leg printing as well and he has these lion feet printing very very cool Fortunately, there's no side arm printing, so that's a bummer. And looking at the back again with his armor, very, very cool. And yeah, so the only thing is the azureness of this azure lion is not really that appealing. So I was actually hesitating in buying the sets with him. So, but. There are exclusive minifigures in the set, and I'll go to it later. So, he has a very nice face print and a very angry secondary print at the back. So next, we have the Monkey King himself with his bright light clothing print here. So, it's not his usual Monkey King armor, so this is more of his younger self. Not sure why, because... In the episode that they have the Mighty Azure Lion, he should be wearing his normal armoring. So, not sure why they have the bright light print here, but this is the second time we have the bright light clothing print here for the Monkey King. The last time was in the Winter Wave in the Monkey Kids hideout. So, and he has a more elaborate staff here. For his golden staff, very, very cool. And again, like the original or the previous Winter Wave set that he was in, he has his sad face here, his crying face. So, okay, this is not a Monkey Kid set without the Monkey Kid. So the only sets that usually we don't have the Monkey Kid are the May sets. So again here with all this summer wave for monkey kid he has this new two color jacket with black and red very very nice with a sort of like a jumpsuit vest here so and then the usual leg printing for monkey kid very very nice and here he has a tail so this is the one with the cloud print at the back and that's the reason why he has a tail is because here he transforms into his real monkey form so 
yes, if you watch the episode, the episode is really cool where he transforms to his full potential. So, yeah, very, very nice. And last but not the least, the exclusive minifigure of this set. It's Pixie in his power-up uniform. So, this is the power-up uniform or the power up printing for Pixie. It's a little bit more pinkish as opposed to Tang's reddish brown coloring. So very very nice detail. So it's it's the same sort of style. It's just some of the colorings are different. Um, the one thing that's different is at the back. So this is almost like a dragon scale but there's something a little bit different at the top. Not sure if, if it's almost like the rake because like the one for Tang shows somewhat like his ring staff. So Pixie has the golden rake ancient weapon. Very, very cool. Unfortunately, since it's a pig head for Pixie, he doesn't have a secondary print. But very, very cool indeed. And he has the movable medium legs for his legs here very very nice okay so now on to the main build so again this is set 80048 the mighty azure lion and as you can see the completed set of the mighty azure lion here in the middle flanked by earlier this year's monkey king ultra mech and last year's evil macaque mech and as you can see there is really a size disparity between the Azure Lion and the Ultra Mech. If you were able to watch the season four specials, the last four episodes basically of the entire season four for 2023 of the Lego Monkey Kid, you would see a scene where the Azure Lion and the Ultra Mech clash together. And maybe I'll insert a picture here in the middle somewhere but as you can see the mighty azure lion is just as tall and as big as the evil macaque mech nothing close to the ultra mech in height i would have wished that the azure lion would have been a slightly taller at least only have maybe half a head or three-fourths of the Ultramex head in height added to the Azure Lion but yeah as you can see here it's almost uh, the same as the evil macaque mech and to be honest it is really a disappointment that the mighty Azure Lion is as thin as the ultra macaque mech as you can see here in their side profiles so i didn't understand why that is because the mighty azure lion should have been the enlargement of the azure lion as shown in the cartoon series but it's not so i don't understand um, I would have understood the evil macaque because in the cartoon series it's a shadow formation of the evil macaque it's not really a mech in itself but an enlargement of his spirit so yeah I would understand the design for the evil macaque but for the azure lion it should be a little bit more bulkier and maybe I'll get into the details focusing on him. But I'd also like to see if I can recreate the scene with the Ultra Mech. I guess with the articulation limitations of the Azure Lion in itself and the Ultra Mech, this is the best I could do. And it's not even close. So let's get into the articulation and more in-depth look at the mighty azure lion and why it can't pose the way that you'd like it to pose 
Okay, so let's take a look at the Azure Lion more in depth. So overall, the overall aesthetic of the Azure Lion looks more bigger than the Macaque Mac, even though, like I said, they have the same side profile and thinness. So the one thing I would have wanted if I were to do this is because this is supposed to be a lion, right? Where most lions have re probably a flat stomach, yes. So this size for the stomach would be good for the pelvic area. But the chest area should be bigger, buffer. Maybe one or two more tiles. At the most, probably three to make it look beefier. Even for the arms out the shoulder area needs to look a little bit more beefier because that's how a lion should look like it should have a big chest and big fore or shoulders right so yeah the color is okay it matches the azure lion minifigure um, I like I do like how they created the head portion not the main the main looks weird because you can make the main like this which is kind of weird so not sure how they could have made it better because a main should look like a crown right it should look glorious but using the dragon mouths or dragon jaws from ninjago looks awkward to me so they could have done something better for the main but the overall shaping and the use of the these car pieces for the shaping of the mouth of the lion is pretty good. It's the build. Um, if you watch my fast build, the build for this is very, very nice. Very, very interesting. I liked how they created all the details and the shaping of this head actually aside from the mane. The pauldrons are okay. I wish that the these tassels would have been secured better because they do tend to move a lot and get disconnected or you can easily lose them while playing if, if you're not going to be just displaying this set. Like here the, the articulation for the pauldron is pretty nice. Articulation wise it's nice that the shoulders have very good articulation like it it really moves like a shoulder even the twisting for the elbows is pretty good unlike the previous mechs for monkey kid that doesn't have you can't really move the elbows like this um, just up and down not from side to side or rotating it I would have wanted the although this is where the problem is right you can rotate the elbow but you can't rotate the actual hand so i'm not sure if this is really an elbow or just an extension of the hand so yeah and of course since these are just connected by clips all the fingers they can as you can see i've already been dislodging them and disconnecting them a lot while doing this review the hip articulation so with the head and how beef this is yes I understand why they probably needed to make it thinner is because because the knees are just connected by as you can see here very flimsy Technic pins it's not really secure so if you make it straight it's gonna fall, fall over because it's top heavy so you need to really you can only pose him at an angle so that it doesn't fall over even like that it's it's not really that stable so there is some hip <clears throat> there is some hip articulation no knee articulation at all and the ankles can only go from side to side because there are only this is only connected by a ball joint so like all other monkey 
kid mechs unlike the ninjago mechs this cannot you cannot pose them with the feet slightly at an angle you can only move them from side to side not front to back and again the same as the fingers the paws here are just connected by see by flimsy connection so the friction and the holding power for these bricks is not that great for the pause here so this re <clears throat> this really has very little possibility so you can probably just pose them at an anger like ready to strike very cool sword though that is connected by a technic pin i like how it was made and he has another weapon which is the scroll that is currently connected at the back so like see here it's not really that secure and yes again one of the fingers got dropped off so you can either put this scroll gatling gun so there is a gatling gun here so you can lose studs that way but yeah he can also hold it like this so overall the functionality is good the aesthetic is okay playability it's good but posability it lacks so much in that department and also one thing unlike the evil macaque mech and this is what they should have done with the evil macaque mech because in the series you can see the evil macaque inside the evil macaque mech so i guess they put it differently for the azure lion but the azure lion should be a embodiment or the enlargement of the actual azure lion so <clears throat> they just made a space for him to be in there so that in essence that it's in side him so that it's really him but kind of maybe okay i guess and that's it for my raw review of the lego set 80048 the mighty azure lion from the monkey kid series season 4 for 2023 and if you've enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing as a lot of my viewers have not yet subscribed to my channel and it would help me a lot in bringing you more content like this in the future thank you very much